everybody, Wanna Weezum here, February 6th, 2017, the day after the Super Bowl, where Roger Goodell's ego was the biggest loser, and uh, finally making some time, not really getting time, but rather making time, uh, to get back to some Skylanders action here. So it's been on the agenda for a long time, just been extremely busy uh, in my personal life. So as you should know, uh, this is something I do on the side. I don't get to no life at home and stay up until 7 every morning playing Overwatch. And then roll out of bed at 11 and, you know, pick up something to eat and come back home for an afternoon stream on Twitch that lasts nine hours. I have to go and do a real job. So, uh, needless to say, though, this is stuff I've been wanting to do. I've gotten quite a few new Skylanders here recently. We've never even gotten to put them on the Portal of Power. And that changes right now. So, uh, what we're going to do here... Uh, going by the unboxings, people were the most excited for Crash and Cortex. And as you would expect, I'm going to not introduce either of them here. Uh, introduction number 28, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to go ahead and uh, switch from tech here with Crankcase to Chain Reaction. Very excited about this guy. Uh, this was Ethan's most anticipated. Looks very cool. He does have an... well, it's not really an alt deco. It's more of a chase variant. Uh, which basically means you'll never see it, <laughs> because employees pull them when they get them. Uh, but it's it's what I call Orange Crush Chain Reaction. Uh, it's, it's very, very cool looking. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, you should probably look it up. If you're a huge Chain Reaction fan and you really want to have a second one, that's an option, albeit an expensive one. It's actually getting ridiculously hard to find. This guy's always been tough to find. I've seen him once, and it's the time I bought him. Uh, and it was the only one, and it was a target of all places. Never seen him at GameStop. Their Skylander days have been a bust. Uh, currently, what's on everyone's mind is Heartbreaker Buckshot. No clue. <clears throat> oh, yeah. To meet your imaginators, super studs like me, all they have to do is train with the chain! Alright, so, but as I was saying, uh, chain, let me get this USB cord off, this USB cord. Doop -de doo which I'm not doing, I'm, I'm using my left foot to do this, if you wonder. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so, if we don't see... Heartbreaker Buckshot. We've got like eight days until Valentine's Day, whatever that is. And that's kind of been like on everyone's minds. Like, hey, you know, where is this guy? You know, you usually see him within two weeks and he's nowhere. Well, couldn't tell you. Uh, they actually didn't even send me Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. So, uh, hopefully, you know, if if he's a thing, they'll send it out. So, I would assume, you know, they've got like their preferred million plus people they'd probably have sent it to. I've got something planned if the man doesn't come through. Although I still, I still stand by what I've said. I was looking for my controller is why I was stalling you. <laughs> but, uh, I still stand by what I've said. I think the best best candidate by far uh, for a Valentine's character is Dr. Crankcase and it would be Dr. Love. I see it in my mind and it's a beautiful thing. The issue I have with Heartbreaker Buckshot, a lot of people are like, oh, it's evil. <laughs> like, no, I don't really think so, but my thing is, I feel like that's kind of a slap to good old Flameslinger, right? If you remember Flameslinger back in the Skylanders Lost Islands days? He had a what would have been a fantastically cool uh, Valentine's figure that never came to the light of day or production in this case. But uh, nonetheless, let's get rolling with my man Jane reaction here. That's right. Look at him. So, so greedy. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've gotten to play. And since we're here... No, stop. You know what? Fine. I'm leaving. I don't care to be advertised to in this game that I purchased. So go away. That's probably the most annoying thing in the world to me in regards to Skylanders Imaginators is that stupid thing that should have stayed in Skylanders Superchargers where it tried to con me out of money. And now it's here in Imaginators, and I hate it. I absolutely hate that thing. I hope it never resurfaces. I hope it never reappears. I hope it gets shot down. I hope Amazon buys it. That's my analog stick. So apparently the controller is still broken. <laughs> uh, anyway, Chain Reaction. Let's just go ahead and do this since we're here. I was going to check his attack damage first, but hey. Ultimates. New headgear. Okay, Chainsaw Beard. Swagtastic. Plus 45 luck and plus 10 armor. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so let's check it out. 
Primary attack is a little slow. Hopefully it deals some good damage. I assume... I assume we can whale away if I combo this. Left, right, oh yeah. Boom clap, that's right. <laughs> so, can one not pick that up? Or is that a bird? I think it's money. Well, or is that something we did? Let me see. Huh. Guess it's not us. Okay, so that's primary. Oh, yeah. Secondary. Ooh. That thing has a really long run time. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what it does to these. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead. We'll see if we can get lucky and get some Imaginite right off the bat here. Aha! It finally happened. <laughs> Alright, epic. Starfish friend, I hope to never have to wear that in my life. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Sorry to disappoint everyone who thought I was a fan of mermaids, but there you have it. Uh, I'm just a basket full of disappointment Skylander. for you. Alright, here we go. That said, new series I've started. This is a game you've probably... If you've watched my Skylanders videos historically, you've most likely heard me. Whether you remember it is another story. Commander Keen Episode 4. A lot of people are thrown off. They're like, whoa, where's Episode 3, 2, and 1? And it's like, no, 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 that's the title. Analog Stick. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, he looks really good here in the Academy, man. Very impressive. Note the tech gear on the background, but... Uh, Commander Keen Episode 4, Secret of the Oracle. It's a fantastic game. It's one I like into Super Mario World, which is my favorite game of all time. Uh, Skylander Spiral's Adventure would be right up there, too. Note the chains are animated. Couldn't really tell that for sure in the uh, Academy. That makes sense, though. And they're so quiet, unlike every other chainsaw I've operated. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead, I guess, and come in here. Oh, and don't forget to Charmin. I am too... I wish I could hear over this headset, but I can't. So I have no clue what he said or I'd analyze it. <laughs> but uh, he looks very cool, very happy looking guy. And it let me enter these numbers in my spreadsheet. So, didn't... Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. My controller batteries are low. Alright, so his attack is 2. That's very weak. Not quite what I had to think. Armor 10, I could see that. Uh, speed 8, luck. Tin. Very cool. Let's go ahead and take a gander at this guy. Oh yeah. Flex those muscles. Note he carries spare chains on the cuffs of his clothing because, as you know, anything with chains, they break all the time or come off the gears. <laughs> so there we go. I uh, really, really do like the aesthetics of this guy. That said, I'll let you take in his beautiful masculine glory. Uh, seems like he would be a good fit for head rush, just off the top of my head, if I had to, had to pair two two people up. No matter what he was doing, Chain Reaction always prided himself at being the best at it. Despite his impressive skills, though, the two chainsaw swords he regularly wielded tended to scare most people away. As a result, Chain Reaction was often lonely. But that all changed the day he witnessed a group of young dwarves getting picked on by an evil gang of ninja rats. After fighting off the rats, the dwarves looked at Chain Reaction as their hero and followed him everywhere he went. Chain Reaction appreciated the company, he knew that he could not protect them forever, so he decided to teach them all he knew so that they could one day protect themselves. That should not... <laughs> that's a bit of a run-on. It should have but. Comma, but he knew, and it's not there. And that bothers me. Uh, anyway, sometime later, Master Eon heard rumors about dwarves from a small village who had successfully defended themselves against a large army of ninja rats thanks to the teachings of a great master. He knew at once that he needed to find Chain Reaction and make him a sensei. So there's your adorable heartwarming story on Chain Reaction. <laughs> and I suppose he's not lonely anymore. Cue up your music if you know the song. Uh, anyhow, we're going to come in here. Look how much... Uh, how much more impressive Flynn's physique is in this puny, weak chain reaction. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, we'll come over this direction, and... Very slow. Very slow. Uh, I think his stature just kind of exaggerates that, but... Let's come up here and see what we've got, and then we'll figure out what it's called, because that's a smart way to do things, right? Whoa, what? <laughs> I f well, okay, this is going to be, like, impossible. 
Is that a 21 or is it just doubling as a 2? I think we're just getting a whole, whole bunch of 1s and a whole, whole bunch of 2s. And I have no idea how many. Uh... Okay, so that was a 41. Or 49? Okay, this is a nightmare. I don't know why people think this is a good idea. Saw a 74 there. What are those jewels, anyway? I don't quite understand this. <laughs> uh, I see 1s, I see 2s, I see 3s. Half of 49 would be 24, 5. So we'd call that 25, 49, 59, 69, 74. What was the 41 then? Hmm. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't even know what the primary attack is, but it's gonna be 1 to 2, 2 to 3, XX times third hit. <laughs> Third hit, clap, 49 to 74. Lovely, so thorough of an investigation. So these jewels or crystals or something on the saw seem to drop out and emanate from the ground. And I assume what it is is you've got the sword swing, and I don't guess it's really doing damage. It's more or less a chainsaw reaction. Or if I were to cut your arm with a chainsaw right now, literally every tooth of the chain would hurt a little bit, and you'd have a hard time distinguishing which one. <laughs> so that's the way I'm looking at it. One to two, and then I guess if you go in succession, it's two to three, and then if he claps, the third hit's a one, two, three. What we really know is the third hit, 49 to 74, although I could swear I'd seen a 41, and I don't know why. And I've seen one to two, and then it's jumped two to three as well. But... Those are the numbers, you can see them, and uh, I have no clue how many times. <laughs> there, there. But uh, let's go ahead now, and just before we even know what it's called, let's check out the second one. Whoa. <laughs> uh, right. Can we do another one of those? Let's count the duration here, okay? Can I not... Twelve seconds, maybe? Maybe twelve seconds? <laughs> uh, twelve seconds run time. And let's get some numbers on this bad boy. Three, five, and eight. An awful lot of times. What could I say? I'm a super stud! I like his voice. Very pirate-like. Like indeed. Let's try this again, see if we can get the initial number. 51. Okay. So. 51, half of that would be 26 ish. <laughs> so, uh, 77? Can we get a 77? This would have worked so much better down below, but they had to advertise to us. Oh, we can pass through that. That's good to know. Now, my next question, can I have two of them active at a time? No, we can't. That's good to know. And what happens if I swing? It looks like he has more of an impressive arc. But there's 41 to 62. Oh, why are things so confusing? It makes zero sense to me. So, 51 to 77. And then... 3 to 5 to 8. X, X times. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, 49. So, third hit clap. 41 to 62. Or 49. Might have something to do with the crystals. I don't really know. <laughs> So, we'll see. Now, what I'm really interested in is if he has a jump attack, and I hope that he does. Oh, yes! Finally, someone delivers on the jump attack. Oh, and really delivers. This is probably what I'll do. 
77. Very exaggerated with the feet, but <laughs> whatever. Can we get a critical on this so I don't have to do math? No. Let's try one more time because I like this attack. 116, thank you, sir. Do -do -do -do. Very cool. I like the aesthetics of that. Very menacing, very powerful. And that's exactly what I would do is if I had chainsaw swords as my primary weapons. <laughs> so, uh, we don't know much, but let's see what it's all called. I look pretty good on paper! Chainsaw combo. Excellent. So, box stock. Chainsaw combo. Press X to slash and do who knows what. Press XXX for a chainsaw combo. So, left hit, right hit, clap, basically. And... I don't know if I'll take the time to really try and figure out how much damage is dealt, because that's ridiculous. Uh, the jump attack is not advertised, but 77 to 116, very cool. That's what you know about, because you're nice and watch my videos. Summon Invention, sweet. Press B, that's not what I would have thought that was called at all, but I'll take it. Press B to summon an invention. The invention's attack speed scales with energy. This attack consumes all available energy. So, Chain Reaction's a complicated man. A very complicated man. What would you expect from the tech elements? Huh. They've not really done a good job of ever explaining his energy to us here in these first two upgrades, nor in his background story. Um, there's no little post-it note that comes with him when you unbox him. And so, this is all news to me. Lots of disturbing news that we don't quite know how to analyze. Beautiful. So, uh, running with chainsaws always recommended. Hold X to cut through enemies while running around. If I, can we not do that now? Is that really an upgrade? Mind-boggling. <laughs> Thunder Slam. Press Y to leap into the sky and strike down at a targeted location. 700 there. Improved energy hoarding increases the maximum energy cap, which is still yet to be explained to us. 900 is the price there. And for 1200, the final base upgrade, Overload. Hitting an invention with Thunder Slam, that is our tertiary, causes it to explode. Sounds awesome, but it's all confusing because we don't know anything about the energy. <laughs> and that would explain why sometimes it's 1 to 2, and sometimes it's 2 to 3, and sometimes it's 41 to 62, and sometimes it's 49 to 74. Uh, lovely. Just lovely. Top path that we don't know the name of, Charged Bolt. Chainsaw melee attacks create three charged bolts. Okay. Improved Charge Bolt. Chainsaw melee attack creates charged bolts whenever an enemy is damaged. Chainsaw Combo Finishers, XXB for Chainsaw Rush Combo, which sounds pretty sweet, or XXY for a Short Circuit Berserker Combo. Don't really understand these first two just yet, but the last one sounds awesome. Uh, down below, Maximum Energy increases the maximum energy cap, which is still yet to have been explained to us. Explosive Work, Inventions Explode Upon Deactivation, kind of a quintessential tech element. Uh, nod right there. And Lightning Nova. Inventions emit electric shock waves periodically. Initially, and I don't know if the energy cap extends the life cycle of the invention. I mean, none of this has been explained. It's like uh, you just wake up and it's like, here's a book on magnets. <laughs> You're like, what's a magnet? <laughs> you know? Uh, Anyway, and then it's like, it attracts ferrous items. You're like, what's a ferrous item? You know. Anyway, uh, and then you're chasing ferrets through the woods and trying to get them with this magnet thing. That said, uh, whichever path we take, we get Lightning God. Shoots lightning down while aiming Thunder Slam. Interesting. Interesting name. Uh, and then the Wow Pow is found in Fizzland, which we've been there multiple times. I have to go again because I couldn't find Chain Reaction when we got all the others. Saw and Conquer. The ultimate sensei attack. Hold the right trigger to perform your sketchy power. Drive a giant invention into your enemies. I don't know if that means drive like we're going to just slap it in them really hard, or it's like, hey, let's get in a tank. <laughs> you know, and, and cruise a little bit, so that'll be interesting, and again, I can't really see the artwork there, might be the angle I'm sitting at, but right now, I don't understand, 
I, you know, I was thinking initially bolt, like bolt washer nut. I don't know if it's like lightning bolts. If that's the case, that would be amazing. Maybe we can tell when it's not blacked out. <clears throat> but this, the combo finishers, <clears throat> seems pretty cool, so... Why, though, do we have to buy that? <coughs> Let's find out. I mean, I guess... You tell me. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm losing my voice, though. I do know that. So... Uh, how, how do I know if I'm using energy? I have zero clues. What do those crystals do? I don't know. Can we get a third crystal? Possibly. Who knows? What do they do? No one has any ideas. Can I jump and hit that? Doesn't do anything to it. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to yet another extremely complex character who has not been adequately explained in any way, shape, or form. Uh, <laughs> you know? Let's go ahead and get back down to where I was and hope that that idiot doesn't come to us when we're there. He'll probably pop out right as we're starting to go down. Uh, exits. This is a guy that's going to need some... Well, I don't know how much we're doing, but I feel like he would need some powerful hits, you know. Oh, these load times. What is this, PlayStation 2 with Grand Theft Auto Vice City? No. Alright, lovely. Yes, could I move, please? Fantastic, thank you. Alright. Oh, there you are! Stay there, you little annoying piece of trash. Cut you up with chain reaction. You ought to be able to do that, I mean, seriously. Do you want in-game advertisements? No, I don't. <laughs> so are you sure? Cut him, chain reaction. Alright, so what we're going to do here is what I would have liked to have been able to do before that idiot thing popped up and would have annoyed us the whole time. I want to see... Was there a plane crashing in the real world? Come on. Uh, let's see just what this looks like. So we're getting 41s here. 41 crit would be 62, as you saw there. So what's the deal? Why is that just 1 to 2? Okay, I'm going to back out now. See anything different about the man. Now we're doing yeah, one to two still. So how does a guy get his energy up to do two to three? <laughs> and what is energy? Does it tie in with the crystals? You know? Do I ask the magic eight ball? I'll consult it. Dear Magic Eight Ball, how does Chain Reaction get energy to do two to three instead of one to two with his primary attack? Are you ready for the 8-Ball's response? It says, possibly. Thanks, Magic 8-Ball. That was so insightful. Just like the descriptions and the upgrades. So, could you pause this and possibly try to count those? Sure. But if I think it's ridiculous, I don't know anyone that wouldn't. <laughs> so, why aren't we doing 2 to 3? I have no idea. Let's throw down this invention and see what it does. Now can I do 2 to 3? No! I'll do 1 to 2. Where are the... Ooh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to the jump attack, which is unadvertised, and probably how I'll play Chain Reaction Box Stock. That is very cool. But, I mean, he's gonna do 5 to 8 and 1 to 2 with the occasional tertiary slap-clap of the chainsaws, but I guess it's one of those things quantity over quality <laughs> this time. Uh, we didn't, we just kind of need to see how he would hold up. I do want to go ahead and document his health before I forget it. It's 240, which if I'm not mistaken, that's the same as Dr. K, right above him. But yeah, does he seem promising? Perhaps. Nothing's really been explained to us here, and I've only got one of these guys, and even if I wanted to buy a second one, I don't know where I would find it, because they don't seem to exist anywhere. Um... Yeah, so very excited to see how he pans out. I think he's got a lot of potential. I just wish it was sort of something that we had a grasp of now, and we could apply that logic to which path would we like to take. 
So uh, I guess what we will do is we will just get the guy some money. We'll buy him some upgrades. We'll see how he does base. Then we'll go in. We'll get more money. We'll buy one of the paths and document it. And then we'll take the path that we think sounded the coolest after we've reset him and lost all of our progress. <laughs> and uh, have to go back through the Sensei Shrine in Fizzland once more. And we will just see which one stacks up better and then decide if we want to take the time to reset him fully once more, go all the way back to Fizzland to do this Washbuckler Sensei Shrine and take him back down the path that we took originally that we thought wouldn't be as good as the first one. Yeah, like I said, Skylander Tutor was an amazing thing, and it is it is severely missed, at least by folks like myself. So, uh, Very cool dude, though. I like his demeanor in the game, I like his voice, like his personality, the vibes we get from him. Uh, just kind of not sure what all this... This whole time we've been down here, I have not seen one of those energy crystal things, if that's even what those are. <laughs> so, And I don't understand Bolt. I don't know if it's like one of those things on the ground, if it's a lightning bolt, if it's like he's literally going to spawn, you know, small fasteners or something, I don't know. <laughs> and so, it's all up in the air. Oh, hey, nice range on this one. Uh, that said, this is Chain Reaction. This is his introduction. Let me know if you've got Chain Reaction. Uh, was he difficult to find? Was, how was the stock in your area? Are you still looking for him if you do not have him? Uh, if you've got him and you've upgraded him, what did you take? Do you have any idea what they're talking about on energy? Or did you just go ahead and buy stuff because you thought it looked cool and then you've never thought about it again and just tried to enjoy the character? <laughs> uh, that said, I'm going to pull him off. I know who I'm going to introduce next, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to sit there and wait and find out for yourself. So uh, that'll be the next introduction. Then I'll probably take these two in tandem, get them some cash, possibly just go through and do their upgrades and uh, have them knocked out type of a thing. So uh, that said, hopefully I can continue to make time to do this and crank these videos out for you. Uh, Sad thing is I haven't played Stardew Valley in like over a week, and I think I'm having withdrawals. I realize that Stardew Valley gets fractions of the views of pretty much anything else. I could. It doesn't even get as many views as Commander Keen did in the first episode, which is strange, but because uh, I've done over a hundred of them. But it's one of those deals. I can't explain it. I just really like the game, and I'm going to continue playing it, and thus recording and uploading it, regardless of what anyone thinks or what logic would dictate. Uh, so... One of the reasons I'm holding off on Crash and Cortex, again, I have zero experience uh, with the Crash Bandicoot series growing up. I don't have any, you know, like, oh, wow, this is so awesome. Just like when I was a kid. No, never had it, never played it. <laughs> so uh, I was out in the real world or playing, like, Madden on Sega Genesis or NBA Jam or something. I uh, never, ever had a Crash Bandicoot game. So in an attempt to do justice to Crash and Cortex, uh, Cuddle Muffin or Ethan from Mind Logics, he's said that uh, he would kind of sort of introduce the attacks and kind of explain the history behind them, something that I would like to do, that I'm capable of doing with like Bowser and DK and Superchargers. But again, I just have zero background with those two. Uh, so that's that's the main reason I'm holding them off. I think he's like two plus hours ahead of me up there in the uh, Great North. So uh, that said, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on Chain Reaction for a bonus brick. We will go with hashtag cut him up <laughs> because I would like to cut up that stupid robot that always tries to sell me stuff I don't want. Uh, none that seems like he and Max would get along pretty well. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. We will be right back for Blank's introduction, and I hope that I will see you there. Stay tuned.